I need a margarita. Hello beautiful people of the internet and welcome back to my channel. Or welcome to my channel if this is your first time. I literally say that every time and I'm like, if this is somebody's first time here, they're probably very confused. Getting straight to the point, today's video is just gonna be a pack with me. I'm going on a trip to Florida here soon for a lot of exciting reasons, not just for vacation which I will keep you guys in the loop on, but I have some wonderful things in the works. So basically, homegirl's gotta fit like a week-ish of outfits into a carry-on. A carry-on. And a personal item, but that's gonna be like a backpack that's got like my camera and like a portable light that I have and like my chargers, my tripod, my other chargers, my laptop chargers. My lenses, my, I don't even know, I have a lot. And I generally put my makeup in my backpack of some sort because I can't fit it in my actual carry-on. So we are going to try to struggle bus all of my outfits into one tiny carry-on suitcase. You guys are gonna come with me. I'm gonna give you guys some tips and tricks along the way because homegirl has traveled a lot and she knows a few things here and there about how to make traveling a little bit easier and how to pack everything into your suitcase that you want and what to pack. Sometimes you're like, I'm gonna pack this and then you end up never wearing it. We'll narrow it down. Before I get started, make sure that you guys give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. It lets me know that you guys want to see more videos from me or that you like me in general. I talk with my hands a lot. You're welcome. Stop it. Get some help. But anyway, let's go see if we can't cram like 14 outfits into a suitcase plus shoes and accessories and a handbag. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to start with is shoes. For starters, if you slip a shoe in like this, especially if you're going anywhere tropical, and you have a lot of shoes that are kind of like, you know, super tiny like this, just slip them into each other and then you guys can do this and stack them on top of each other. It will save so much space. So these are the sandals that I'm going with right here. Obviously I have a lot of minimal colors because they go with everything. And then I've also just got a pair of denim ones in case I happen to find something down there that doesn't quite match these or just to have a little bit of color into my shoe wardrobe. And moving on, I just have some like older tennis shoes. Now the trick with this is we are actually gonna take two different Ziploc bags and all of the underwear that we have and we're gonna separate it between these two and then we're gonna shove them into the shoes. It will save so much space over here in the big area that I'm trying to pack all of my clothes in because I do have a couple of bulkier items over here and I also have a coat that I wanna bring. So saving as much space as possible is absolutely key. Then in this pocket, I'm just gonna take the jewelry and accessories that I'm bringing and just sneak it right in there. And as you guys can see, we still have a bunch of space up here which we will be filling up. So then I've just got these sports clothes right here. I've got two sports bras and then a strapless bra and I figured that is probably just about enough to squeeze into this space. Moving on to bottoms, I've got two shorts that are rolled up right here, and then I've also got two pairs of jeans, just a darker one and a black one. Honestly, if you guys do two shorts and two jeans for about a week trip, that'll be plenty, especially if you guys have access to a washer and dryer. And these ones, I'm gonna tuck in on the sides just because they are somewhat thicker, heavier items, and it'll be easier to build around them. So next up, I've got these two jumpsuits right here. There's just a striped navy and white one right here, and then a little orange one right here. And these ones, I'm gonna fit right next to each other so we can try to keep the space consolidated. Then I have a sleep shirt. I just have one because I know that I'm gonna have a washer or dryer, so I only need one and I'm gonna tuck that in there. And then I just have a little denim dress right here that I'm gonna sneak in there. And see, once you guys start to roll stuff, you can fit so much more into your suitcase. So I've got my basic sleep shorts right here, and then I also just have a couple of basic white tees and then just a couple of tank tops which I can easily pair with just about anything. And then I also have a swimsuit cover up because you never know if we're gonna be going to the beach or if I just don't feel like wearing any clothes that day. So basically this is how my suitcase is gonna look until I get my carry-on stuff that I wanna put in there just because I have about another day until the trip. And so everything is gonna be going right in here. I'm just gonna put all my medication in a bag, my toothbrush and toothpaste in a bag, deodorant, hairbrush, and any other little odds and ends that I might wanna put on here. I am gonna be wearing a baseball hat and a pair of leggings and a sweatshirt on the plane, which will definitely help save up a lot of space there and on the way back. And as you guys can see, the way that I have it packed now, I still have room in case I buy something down in there, which let's be honest, I will. I'll be able to fit it in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my pack with me video slash tips and tricks and coming along with me basically for this ride of struggle bus USA trying to fit it on a carry on. Carry on. I need a margarita. 
If you have ever tried to fit everything into a carry-on, make sure that you guys give this video a big thumbs up. If you were as successful as I was, or I mean, I don't even know if that's successful. I think so. I got everything I wanted in my suitcase. But if you have been as successful, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. If you haven't, comment down below and tell me about the struggle. I want to hear your guys' stories. Where were you going? What were you trying to pack? What didn't fit? Like, what did you have to sacrifice? Like, I want to know. Because let me tell you, the struggle is real. Anyways, I will see all of you beautiful people in my next video. And P.S. Thank you for watching and supporting me on this channel. I really appreciate it. If you guys want to creep on your girl a little bit more, you can follow my Instagram, which will be down below and in the outro. And um, you can follow me on Twitter. I don't really tweet a lot. I don't Snapchat a lot, really. Instagram is kind of where I'm at with my life a little bit. So P.S. Let me know down below in the comments where you are from because I'm trying to plan a couple of trips here coming up soon. And if you guys live anywhere like fun and you're like, Come to my city, let's do fun things together. Like, girl, I'm down, let's do it, get pizza, go on a date night together. Like, I don't even care where, just wherever in the world. Tell me where you guys live, let me know down below because I am planning some trips and I wanna go see some of you guys if I can because like, why not? I'm gonna be traveling a lot upcoming here anyway. Secret, secret, can't tell you why, but uh, yeah. And I think it would just be really fun to meet you guys, maybe go like grab I don't know, pizza or some sort of carb. That sounds lovely to me. So again, make sure you guys let me know where you live down below in the comments. I want to know for that reason and because I'm a creep. Anyways, I will see all you beautiful people in my next video. Now you're lost, lost in the heat of it all.